Tim Minlay, a member of the notorious Born to Kill gang out of New York, still sits on Pennsylvania's death row, accused of murdering two Vietnamese brothers. This is his story. Tan Minh Le came to the United States illegally when he was a teenager. In 1993, he was found guilty of murdering a man by shooting him in the head in Rochester, New York. He came up for parole in 2005 and was told that he would be deported back to his home country of Vietnam. He stated to the judge at that time that he was happy to go home to his wife and earn an honest living. The problem is he never went back. Lay was a high-ranking member of the notorious Vietnamese Born to Kill gang that originated in New York. The Born to Kill gang throughout the 80s and 90s terrorized Chinatown and had a reputation of not only their brutal murders but extreme violence. Viet and Vu Wang were two Vietnamese brothers who somehow got tangled up with Lay. They were known as South Philadelphia marijuana dealers. August 26, 2014, found the brothers desperately trying to raise $300,000 that they owed their drug dealer in California. The two had lost the money gambling. The two enlisted the help of their friend Tan Vong, but he was only able to raise $41,000. He was directed to bring that money to Lay's home, and from there, things went south very quickly. Fong spotted the brothers tied up in Lay's garage and tried to run, but it was too late. He was pistol whipped and he was zip tied like the others. He stated in his testimony, they kept yelling, where's the money? And when the answers failed to satisfy, Lay and his accomplices loaded Vong and the brothers into their van and drove them to the Skullkill River. Wu Wing was stabbed 32 times, his brother an additional 28. Their throats were slit, they were chained to cement buckets, and both were thrown, along with Wu Wing, into the river alive. Unbelievably, one of the men survived, and boy did he have a story to tell. Boong, who sustained stab wounds to his chest, back, and neck, recalled hearing the splash as the brothers hit the water and their anguished cries as they slowly drowned. He managed to make his way to a concrete wall lining the riverbank and clung to it to keep his head above water. Eventually, its rough surface helped tear the duct tape from his eyes, and over two to three hours, he wriggled free from the bindings and climbed out. Lay, who had fled Pennsylvania and spent time on the FBI's most wanted list, was finally captured in 2015 at a Motel 6 in Ashland, Virginia. He was with his wife and two children. Lay remains on death row in Pennsylvania's SCI Green.